So yo yo guys, we're back again on Gusto Reaction. Gay Gay T. I'm only doing my Gay Gay T by myself. <laughs> I'm not here alone, by the way. I'm here with Shay Shay Shay. What up, bro? How you doing, bro? Let's do the Gay Gay T now. Gay Gay T. You already know. Thank That's you guys for always liking. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Thank you for subscribing. We really, truly, truly appreciate you. On the Gay Gay level, this player no be a Gay Gay. You know. <laughs> Party BG Gang. You know. Baddest. You know, Machala, you know, outsiders, you know, the damn cool people, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, these, these guys are making us proud, like they are doing, Definitely. they are doing Nigeria great, Definitely. they are doing Nigeria great, so they oh. have beef have been going on in the industry, mm. um, Davido, Whiskey, Bonaboy's, Latan are like the major ones, mm -hmm. so Davido and Whiskey, as we know that they've been, they've been like having this thing for a while now, like long, long ago, and then Bonaboy joined the equation, Bonaboy against Davido. Mm -hmm. And then we know that we know that um, there's this one person that is always with the 30 BG gang. He also has a 30 BG chain, Zlatan. He has 30 BG chain. So is it now that Zlatan is with Davido, mm -hmm. Bonner Boy is with Whiskey? Mm -hmm. Is it now is 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 it, is it more like a joint fight? Mm -hmm. Who do you think is supporting who? Who do you think is for who? That okay, me or my loyalty is with this person, this person, my loyalty is with this person. Okay, so um, first and foremost, shout out to Whiskey and Davido. I mean, yeah. these guys have done a whole lot yeah. for the industry. Um, they have um, been able to keep themselves at a particular point, mm. you know, at the top for years right now. Whiskey has been at yeah. the top for 11 years. Davido, 10, 11 years as well. Yeah. These guys have really, really done well. Um, now, the apparent beef between Whiskey and Davido. Mm is something that has been overflogged i mean we've said uh, talked about it yeah. so many media houses talked about it and everything but then again looking at Zlatan and Bonaboy, mm. killing them was a major major banger yeah. in 2018 2019 yeah. and um whiskey loves Bonaboy. he does davido loves Zlatan so much yeah. whiskey and Zlatan have spoken on you know a video call a couple of times that's about it Bonaboy and Davido, you know, and uh, you know they've not, they've, you know, they are, they are, they are already. There's been issues about them fighting in Ghana mm -hmm. and a couple of other things mm -hmm. like that. So yeah, if we say that is Bona supporting Wiz, is Zlatan supporting Davido, we need to ask ourselves what exactly caused the issue between Bonaboy and Zlatan. Mm -hmm. Now let me take you back to when um, Zlatan, I don't know, maybe when he was, maybe he was drunk or something, yeah, and then he posted a, a couple of things, abuse yeah. from Kakindele, same from Kakindele, yes. he's a backstabber and all of that. Said Bonaboy when he gave birth, Bonaboy rubbish team saying, mm. is it time for him to go, you know, to give birth and all of that. Like there was, there was an apparent issue between Bonaboy and Zlatan. Now people will be thinking, these guys have a song together. The biggest song in 2019 yeah. was Killing Them. Killing no, them. Cap. no cap. Do you understand? Now, having done all of these things together, a couple of fans were saying, oh, is Zlatan upset that Bonner was getting most of the glory for killing them? Mm. Or is Bonner upset that Zlatan was asking for too much for, you know, for killing them? Mm. There was a whole lot. Yeah. At some point, we didn't even know who owned the song between Bonner yeah, and Zlatan yeah. killing them. Because it was a case of, you know, they would say Zlatan and Bonner or Bonner and yeah. Zlatan yeah. killing them. But of course, everything went down. Everybody was settled and all of yeah. that. But fans are started talking about, oh, is it a Davido versus Whiskey 2.0 mm. between these two guys? I think that it's not, actually. I don't think it is mm. at the moment. What I think the situation is, is Bonaboy is just affiliated to Whiskey. No man, no man. He's not talking to Whiskey because of Davido. Okay. And Zlatan is not talking to, you know, or sticking to Davido because Bonaboy. of Bonaboy. Bonaboy. Do you understand? He's not stuck, you know, he's not sticking to Davido called Bonaboy. Mm. So it's not a case of, oh, I'm picking this one's fight. I'm carrying Davido's fight on my head. I'm carrying Whiskey's fight on my head. No. Mm. Whiskey and Davido versus Davido has always been there. Mm. The Zlatan and Bonaboy issue is a fresh one okay. that needs to be addressed. Although they've not addressed it yet, it is so, still a very, you know, silent beef mm. between these two guys. So looking at looking at what you just said now, mm -hmm. do you really think now that there's actually a beef between Zlatan and Bonaboy? Yes. Even despite the fact that okay, that day he posted a lot of things on his on his IG mm -hmm. story about a lot of artists and a lot of people in the industry. But then Bona never said anything about it. Mm. Bona didn't reply. But then we've not heard anything about Bona and Zlatan. Like they've not really, we've not seen them together at all ever since the killing them time and all of that. So do you think that there is actually an issue, or it was just 
publicity and normal stuff at well, 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 I, I, one thing I know is that Ramanjago hangs yeah. out with Bonaboy a lot. Zlatan yeah. and Ramanjago hang out. Yeah. Well, anytime you say Ramanjago and Bonaboy, you won't say it's Zlatan there and everything. Mm. They don't really hang out. You know, Bona and Zlatan have an apparent issue. Yeah. I don't know what the issue is. But of course, that WhatsApp or that uh, Instagram story thing, yeah. you know, is a major pointer to the fact that there is an apparent issue. Mm. Now, has it been resolved? I don't think so. Mm. Would it be resolved? Maybe. Mm. But Zlatan himself would need to actually have like a sit down with Bonaboy and, you know, trash things out. But I don't think, you know, they are moving, they are carrying it from the Whiskey versus Davido's perspective. Mm. No. Bona is a good friend to Whiskey. Yeah. Zlatan is a good friend to Davido. Doesn't mean that that is the reason for their beef. Whiskey and Davido is not the reason for a Bonner and Zlatan beef. Mm. The beef probably stemmed from the fact that they had probably a contractual issue, yeah. you know, with killing them and it wasn't fulfilled. Just something. There's just something. Mm. There's just something. So looking at looking at this beef between Zlatan and Bonner boy, do you think it's gonna last for as long as the whiskey and the video beef has been on? <laughs> No, I don't think it's gonna last for as long as uh, the whiskey. I mean, there's there's a common factor between these two guys, yeah. Raman Jago. Raman can call Satan and call Bonner and say Bonner after most of them you know, yeah. settle this man just yeah. so before you know it, maybe before the end of this year you could just see a Bonner boy and maybe Zlatan collaboration once again. Mm. So I but a whiskey and Bonner and uh, and uh, uh, David o is a case of two very big stars mm. not wanting to conform to each other mm. is latin can still say ah bona baba no ala, mo just, you get but bona maybe because of his status right now i not want to conform you know to sure. you know yeah. is latin but Zlatan can still say ah bona we did together like, my guy and everything but it, who is going to bring up with and David? so let's just leave with and David. Hmm. But a bonus that tank can still settle there. So now, are you, are, you, are you trying to say now that Whiskey and Davido's beef can never be settled? Because, because with the way you said, said one doesn't want to agree for the other. Internally, internally, I don't think um, you know it can be settled anytime soon. Hmm. Externally, they could. A guy, after and everything, right? Guy, guys, the settle were done and everything. Yeah. Uh, Davido went to whiskey show in 2018 mm -hmm. whiskey went, went to david show in 2018 my best friend. Whiskey show. went to a david show in london, in london as well yeah and despite that we still have the beef mm. true, true so true wow a lot a lot a lot of beef going on but then we know be malam <laughs> <laughs> we, we hope we hope that everything gets set to yes us. Um, one love piece I can't Amri wait to see a Bonner Boy and Zlatan collaboration like another, another one yeah it's gonna be as hard as clean them yes or harder both of them are really hot right now so mm. it could be even be harder and badder than killing them mm. well I, I well I, I don't know I, I'm just a little bit skeptical, um, skeptical. I don't want to put no. my ex expectations no. I'm putting high. all my eggs into one basket on this one wow yeah so that Bonner boy and Zlatan collaboration yes so bang banger than even killing them okay let us know your thoughts guys let us know what you think Bonner boy Zlatan is this the new whiskey 2.0 beef let us know if this issue is going to be settled or if it's never going to be settled and then that collaboration when it comes is it going to bang like she said he's putting all of his bang back, all of his eggs into the basket all the eggs in me i'm just a bit skeptical let us know what you think <laughs> let us know your thoughts about this and don't stop liking sharing and subscribing thank you guys Keep your comments coming we we love you the vibes clean them sha. <laughs>